The Angels have taken a lead in the AL West and are looking to make a playoff spot for the first time since 2014. We've had a lot of breakout players this year and we've had a lot of players that exceeded expectations so far that have contributed to the Angels good start. So in this video, I'm going to be grading every Angels player's performance so far this year. So what's up guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm going to be shifting this channel, I think a lot towards just Angels content because I think that's where like probably 90% of my fans are. That's what most of you guys want to hear, I'm assuming. And there's no better time like now where the Angels are doing this good, winning the division, and it's got me pumped up, it's got me excited, so I want to talk about the Angels. So my grading is not only just overall performance, but it's also progression from the previous seasons. For example, if you got a guy like Mike Trout, I'm expecting him already to do better than a guy like Andrew Velasquez. So basically a lot of it is just grading by what we expect these guys to do. So starting off with Max Stassi, I'm gonna give him a C plus. You can't expect much offense from a defensive catcher, but this season he started off a little extra slow. Kurt Suzuki, I'm gonna give him a C minus. I'm not sure why the Angels re-signed him to be honest. His hitting is horrible right now, but I didn't expect much from him to begin with. Next we got Jared Walsh. I'm going to give him a D because he started off really slow, which is a big step back from last year where he was an all-star. His on base right now is below 300. Next we got Jack Mayfield. I'm going to give him an A-. minus. We're seeing a great start to the season from him. He's sitting over 300, definitely fighting for a spot in the majors. Anthony Rendon, I'm going to give him a C. We need Rendon back to his 2019 form. Uh, we just haven't seen that from him. David Fletcher, I'm going to give him a D. Uh, for a contact hitter to be hitting under 200, that's just really horrible. But this is a really, really small sample size for David Fletcher. Andrew Velasquez, C. He's great at defense, but he cannot hit. He absolutely cannot hit. Tyler Wade, B+. Tyler Wade's been good. He's hitting solid, and he's done his job. Joe Adele, C-. minus. He's still finding his groove in the MLB hitting-wise. Uh, Defensive-wise, he's literally atrocious. He has to be the worst outfielder in the league. And honestly, I don't even think it's close. I don't know what he's doing out there. Brandon Marsh, A-. minus. So far, a breakout season for Marsh. He's getting on base. He's slugging. He's great in the outfield. He's clearly an everyday player for the team. Mike Trout, A+. Plus. I don't even... Uh, yeah, Mike Trout. Taylor Ward, A++. Not only is he the breakout star on the Angels, he's been the breakout star in the MLB. His OPS is around 1.3. He has a 500 on base right now and a 400 average. He nearly hit two different cycles in two different days of the week, including a grand slam. I don't know what this guy's on. Shohei Otani, C-. He's been pretty shaky hitting and pitching. And given the fact that he had one of the best seasons in baseball history last year, um, I'm expecting a decent season after that. And he hasn't shown up yet. Reed Detmers, C. We haven't seen much from him in the MLB yet. Uh, his ERA is around 5, but he's only 22. He's got a lot of growing to do. Noah Syndergaard, A. So far, everything we've hoped from him. His ERA is around 2. His whip's around 0 0.8. Uh, his strikeouts are down, but he's getting the job done. Patrick Sandoval, A+. Patrick Sandoval has been amazing so far this season. In his first three starts, he had a 0 ERA through 15 innings and 20 strikeouts, giving him a 12 strikeouts per 9 innings. Michael Lorenzen, I'm going to give him an A. For his first season as a starting pitcher since his rookie season in 2015, he has outshined. His ERA has been around 3. Um, he's been everything we've hoped for. Jimmy Herget, C+. He's been pretty mediocre out of the bullpen. Austin Warren, C. He struggled a little bit so far. His ERA is around 5. Aaron Loop, A. He's had one earned run so far through 10 innings pitch. That's an under 1 ERA. He's the man. Oliver Ortega, A. He's been great out of the bullpen. ERA around 1.5. His whip's under 1. Ryan Tapera, A. Also has a 1.5 ERA out of the bullpen and a 0.7 whip. And finally, we got closer Rizal Iglesias. I'm going to give him an A. He's been locked down out of the bullpen. His whip is 0.8, 12 strikeouts per nine innings. He's been our star closer since we got him last year. And that is it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, for the most part, players have shown up this year. Players have been breaking out. Um, we've seen it all this year for the Angels. And right now they have a 2.5 lead on the division. I appreciate those of you that have watched this far into the video. 
um if you have make sure to comment any other ideas you have uh anything else i should talk about let me know if you like these type of videos uh leave a like and that's it peace